Day to not mourn the death of one's life, but to celebrate the life that he once lived. I realized that life after death is a long-lasting sense of what killed a once-growing butterfly. A fragrance of death in the air as the clouds smelling of cigarettes and alcohol pour a mixture of sweat and my tears into a living room couch that I can see right through. I see a reflection of me. Disappointed in myself for not being enough and disappointed in myself for being enough for you. You see, a majority of my life, I've been living in fear and living in silence, afraid of asking for the privacy that I never got from you and fear that this will be my life. Like a coffin nail burning down to the head, smoke left a trail of threat in the air. You told to me that if I ever spoke a word of the robbery that took place of my own body, that more people would become victims. You see, life after death is not life when you're living through your own funeral. <coughs> My mouth is so together because the guests at my funeral do not want to see the bats flying up my throat and out my mouth. Remove these stitches. There is no need for them. The process of keeping me quiet has already been done. Your hand over my mouth whispering, shh, in my ear. The bats in my stomach just trying to find a way out. Help me out. Let me out. My soul trying to find a way out. No. I can't scream or shout with you covering my mouth. You see, life after death is being told that this, that this is what I wanted that the butterflies couldn't contain themselves as if the butterflies didn't die. And in the first four seconds of my panic attack, I didn't shake loose of the skeletons like you shook loose with my body. You broke me. You stole from me. With my casket being used as an ashtray, built of ashes cut from out of your pores onto my back, every burning, dripping sensation was a violation to every single bone in this body that I do not take ownership in anymore. Because once I said no, and you heard the word go, I died and didn't get a chance at my happy eternal life but if there is life after death, then I am living it. Every day, I live to be more and more alive, and every day, I live to be less a victim and more, I su more a survivor. I am a survivor in the chrysalis. You stopped my time of growth, but I am here, and I am now. I will step out of this casket, and I will spread my beautiful wings because I am a survivor. I will come through stepping like I've never stepped before because I am a survivor. Did you hear me? I said I. I'm a survivor of life after death. <laughs> 